Hey there, see this really crude drawing? Notice anything special about it? No? Well, it's copyrighted, and that copyright belongs to me, Courtney from New Media Rights. You can get a copyright for your own work too. Wanna know how? I'll totally tell you. Let's recap a little bit about copyrights before I start though. A copyright is a legal right that creators have to copy and distribute their work. It also temporarily keeps other people from copying, changing, or distributing that work. It exists for the purpose of benefiting the public by encouraging creators to keep creating because it allows them to control how the world first sees their work and it allows them to make a profit. Copyright law attempts to balance a creator's need for protection with the public's need to freely use creative work. Now, we're going to talk about how you can even get a copyright. Are you ready for a surprise? Okay, here goes. Copyright law protects a work as soon as it's created. I know that sounds crazy, but it makes total sense. What would the point of copyright laws be if someone could copy your work before you officially receive protection? It's not a race. So, you don't have to register your work or even finish it to be protected. Copyright laws protect you as you create. All you have to do is make sure your work meets the pretty loose requirements to be protected, which you can learn about in our video, What Can Be Copyrighted? Registering your work officially with the U.S. Copyright Office is totally optional, but it does allow you to sue anyone who infringes on your copyright. You can register at any time, but registering before or shortly after publication has lots of benefits, which we'll talk about in a different video. But, because nothing in the world can be simple, registering has its drawbacks too, which we'll also talk about in a separate video. For one thing, it costs $35 per work to register. So, if you write a lot of blogger posts, or you're a photographer who shoots a thousand pictures every day, that's potentially a lot of money you're going to spend just to get some extra protection on your work. Oh, and if you change your work any time after you send in the form, you also have to update your registration. That involves filling out another form, sending in a physical copy of your work, and paying another $35. You know it would be an even better use of $35? You should donate it to New Media Rights. If you're enjoying these videos, or at least learning from them, please consider donating to us to keep this project going. You can donate on our YouTube channel or at newmediarights.org. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. Let's recap a little bit about copyrights before I start. Okay, I'll throw in the other direction. <laughs> <laughs>